So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song short, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the, any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Okay, just snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Blade, it's like it's all they did. Well, those years ago. See? No, I don't want to do any more of it. Stupid. Hi, everyone. Martha here. So, I saw Lisa Frankenstein. And I didn't, I wasn't planning on ever watching this movie, but since I saw it was on Peacock, and um, so I had to watch it since I have Peacock. And I think it was okay, it was pretty funny. Um, I did not expect to see, um, when I was looking up for pictures on here, I realized who the creature was played by. Little Cole Sprouts. Aw, oh, he's so grown up now. He's no longer that little kid from Big Daddy. He's no longer um, Cody from Zack and Cody. Uh, he's so grown up. Oh, good for him. <laughs> he's in a, a horror movie. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I watched that kid grow up. <laughs> because I've seen him from being from Little Big Daddy to being... To Zach and Cody, and now he's in this. <laughs> Where's Dylan? Where's Zach? <laughs> so yeah, this one was really, this one was funny. Um, it's kind of like a really weird spin of um Frankenstein. So that's what's called Frankenstein, Lisa Frankenstein, because she um is literally building, make a zombie into a back into a real person during this during this movie. And, yes, there will be spoilers in here. I did find a lot of it funny. I did like the part where, um, they kept on referencing the man in the moon. Now, the man in the moon, for all you guys who don't know, who did not watch Hugo, was this one of my favorite movies. And this is going to probably be one of my favorite movies because of, because of the fact that it gets a reference that. Now... The Man in the Moon's one one of the old um, silent movies that originally that was one of the the first um, color movies that um, was made by um, I always have a hard time saying it but he was a French man. Um, if you watch Hugo, we see um, a different actor play him, but since that guy's long gone, but. Man on the Moon is about a bunch of people going to the moon, and um, when then they have um, the, the spaceship like hit the man in the moon in the eye. So I did like seeing that poster everywhere. They like showed it like three times. And they even showed um, uh, Bride of Frankenstein. I think when um they showed the part where they're black and white. That scene right under the bed. They showed and the Bride of Frankenstein looking up at them. So yeah. So, it kind of reminds me of um, both Frankenstein and Edward Scissorhands. So, and the fact that they made um, Col Cole Sprout look like a young Johnny Depp is really cool. Like, this is what I thought. It made him look like a young Johnny Depp <laughs> for the whole entire movie. And I didn't even notice it was him because that's how good the makeup was. <laughs> And I haven't seen that kid, and I haven't seen that that him in a long time. And I'm allowed to call him kid. He's five years younger than me. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Anyway, and I watched him grow up. <laughs> this movie we also got uh, the one who played Ant Man's daughter from the third Ant Man movie play Lisa. So Lisa um recently had her um mom um get killed by a a burglar or axe murderer or a serial killer whatever you want to call it and her dad remarried and the stepmom um, is very mean to her very I mean I felt like I was watching like a Cinderella version or like late um Snow White because how mean she was 
because she kept on bringing up the fact that every time she, um, everything suddenly broke. Yes, the mirror was her fault. She would um, blame everything that breaks in the house that um, the creature made break it. Now, the, what what happened to the creature that he fell in love with a woman in real life? And like I would say. It doesn't give the exact year what year he lived in, so you, it's kind of like you're guessing. So I would say either the late um, 1800s or the early 1900s. I would say one of those two. I would say like either um, like the 1880s or the 1920s. One of those I would say like had to be from that time period because of how um, everybody drew. Um, because it was just the cre opening credits was mostly them drawing to them. But yeah, but I'm guessing that's what the time period would be. And the movie, this movie takes place now. It takes place 1989. They, because um, Lisa mentioned it. They don't like show it like on screen. This is 1989. But Lisa says it in this movie what year this is. So yeah. And when she like moves to a new town, um... A lot of people are not treating her right. Like she gets roofied. A guy tries to um do the R word with her. Um, um well, yeah. And then and then her boss says that she's flat chested, and so that's sex harassment. And Lisa does not have a good time during this movie at all. So basically, everybody who want wronged her, except for the guy who sex harassed her, <laughs> they said she's flat chested. Uh, basically, got killed. Um. He killed so the zombie guy after he gets brought back to life because after um, she walks into the rain after she's roofied, um, she we she explains that when there's a graveyard where it's abandoned that she goes to like t to read and she sits right in front of the guy at the beginning who got struck by lightning and she wishes that I could be with him. But she, when he comes back to life, she meant, I wish that I was, she, she wished she was um, not, not living. That's what she was basically meant. That's what she meant she, she was with him. And the weirdest thing that they were singing, it's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day when it's raining. Like, um, I was watching this, but like, you know you're singing the wrong song for this, right? <laughs> and... And that's when she breaks the mi mirror, and her stepmom makes her clean up the next day. And she does have a stepsister who, there's one of our movies. She's kind of nice to her, like she lets her use her tanning booth, even though don't do that. That the tanning booth is bad for you. <laughs> like I'm never gonna, I've never done before, but don't do that. <laughs> it, you can get you get skin cancer and everything, <laughs> or you can have what happens to her. <laughs> In this movie, at the very end with the tanning booth, we have a guy where she likes, uh, is like an, when the newspaper at the school that she likes. And she like always flirts with him. But for some reason, the sis her, her stepsister doesn't want her to be with him. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> so she makes sure that she's never with her. Never, they never get together. During this, and the dad's a jerk. It's, and I swear, this is the same guy from Stranger Things. This looks like him. That guy likes playing dads who are not good. <laughs> Apparently, because he in Stranger Things, he's not a good dad, really. And this show is not really a good dad because he never, he doesn't even remember his what his wife looks, like, what his um second wife looks like, because um um she was supposed to go on a trip. And when she comes back and, like, it's mad at Lisa because the creature, when he comes back to life and, um, Lisa's at school, he puts a, he throws, uh, puts a worm in her, in her food. And so she accidentally eats a worm. And so he was going to, she's going to put her and put Lisa in an uh, asylum. And, and, oh yeah, we also have a part where, um, apparently the creature knows how to play a piano. So he plays piano for before he puts the worm in there. And he so she's gonna put him put Lisa in like a say asylum for what how much she's been doing stuff and 
she comes out, the creature comes out of the closet and kills her by hitting her with um, a weapon. And I did like the closet. I want this closet because the fact that they have, um, every time she shuts the door, um, it's the man on the moon on the door. Like, I want that poster. Give me that poster right now. So, after the mom died, she lets, um, she sews on the mom, the stepmom's ears onto him so he now can hear her and so every single time they give um, him a new body part he puts uh, they go into the tanny booth so they can like mix together like they do it for when he gets a new arm and so we can play the piano much better and, and touch her and feel her and for what happens later on yeah <laughs> so After that, we um, he they end up killing the kid that um, that you know the R word her uh, try to R word her and and take away his hand and do that to him and do and put their hand on to him and then they play the piano and what song was it um they they sing let me look it up I forgot what it was called um he plays i can't fight this fearly anymore and also um a more a morse art song set so basically you would have to say he's probably around um the time where um the creature came from he's probably around the time our morse art was alive so yeah otherwise why would he be able to play one of his songs so yeah and i do like the fact that he learns like all these different things that he probably should not know because <laughs> um I'm not going to say what happens if you watch the movie, but you're going to laugh during that part, because that part was really funny. I don't want to ruin that part for you, so I'm, gonna leave that. I'm not going to tell you what part I, I laughed at the most. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm telling you about the piano part, but not the, there's another scene I did laugh about, I laugh at. So, when she goes to school, after um, the his, her stepsister figures out, um, yeah, her mom's probably not coming. And Taffy goes back home, goes to the school, but she's like crying. They call the the hotel and ask, has um, the mom showed up? And but nope, they have not. So they and then she had to describe everything because the dumb's dad doesn't know what his own wife looks like. They end up going. So she ends up going to school, but then she ends up leaving after her friends like comfort her. And for some reason, she's the one that tells her friends of what happened to um Lisa with her mom, with her mom. And she had the ball to say, "Well, you don't know. It's like because your mom has already been dead. Like that's not cool. I mean, I like Taffy. It's probably like the one that does who is nicer to her." During this whole entire movie. But. She's still terrible. She's still not a good sister. But she's like one of the. She tries her best to be nice to her. So. She ends up leaving. But we also know that the guy that she liked. Michael is not there. So she ends up. Leaving because. She tries to figure, try to make sure that. Nobody finds out what happened to her stepmom. And. Somehow. The creature ends up stealing the a car, and somehow he knows how to drive. And I think he he might have killed one of the neighbors that called um, the girl next door that, that, that got called that said Lisa was weird. And I think he might have killed her. We don't know. We it, it was off screen, so we don't know because he said you don't belong here. This is my neighborhood. So when he was still in the car, somebody's car, and he like drives down there for somehow he doesn't crash. Like how did he not crash? He's from a time period where there's no cars, probably. And and Lisa probably referenced because Lisa referenced you're probably from that time period where you had those weird bikes that had a big wheel thing, and you probably drove that. <laughs> so was this nothing like driving a car, buying a bike in a car, not the same thing. <laughs> He drives her over to where her the guy she likes, Michael, is lives, and he walks. They she walks in on both of them, doing you know, and so 
What does? The creature comes upstairs and cuts off to this you-know-what. And so, because after that, after he kills Michael, basically, because unlike in Stray, it didn't kill him, but it did kill Michael. Lisa says she's sorry to her sister, but she says, you are the one who's been mostly been nice to me. Because now she realized since she had witness to what um, the creature did, she's going to have to um, either run away and hide or d Cause then they're gonna put her in jail or or in a or in a sane asylum. Cause now that the fact that she does have a witness, she they put his de his you know what onto the creature, Michael's you know what on the creature, because apparently he doesn't have you know what anymore. So yeah, and so they do. So she does it with the creature, cause. She is a thank you note, and then, uh, and then and then she offs herself. I got a number to say, offs herself um, in the tanny booth. So yeah, so this move. So I'm probably gonna do this one like a um, eight out of ten because the last part I didn't really like. I mean, I liked everything else, and when they're doing the it, when I'm she's doing with the the creature, we see both and like go to the man on the moon and hit it. So yeah, so yeah. I'll s that's basically it guys so hope you guys enjoy this and hope you guys seen the movie so I'll see you guys later Tom if you have peacock you go watch it there so um like favorite and subscribe and bye bye I, I got the three act three main actors on here so yeah bye bye